Uh oh, he's got another flashlight. This is the 511 Light for Life. This is the model PC3 300. Um, there's several different variants of it out there, so this one does matter. Uh, it doesn't matter which model you're looking at. Um, just picked it up uh, about a week ago. I've been playing with it ever since. Uh, uh, it's quickly become a, one of my favorite lights. Um, you know, they have you know pretty snazzy packs in here. It does say will last a lifetime and more. I haven't got that long, uh, or hadn't had it that long, so I don't know if that's true or not, but advertises that charges in 90 seconds, uh, and has a 200 lumen peak output, um, it's this particular one, uh, as you can see here, they got a little sticker, that says 120 volt AC adapter now included, $40 value, um, I think 511 is dropping these from production, not sure though, I haven't done any research on that, but, uh, they're starting to show up more and more and more for super cheap. So, um, maybe some kind of blowing them out kind of thing. Uh, pretty cool little box here. A lot of different information. Um, powered by advanced capacitors. So, that's how it recharges so fast and does have two buttons on it. Enough about the box. Let's look at the get up. And you can tell I took care of repackaging it. We have our uh, AC adapter for, you know, plug into your house at home and then it gives you the uh, uh, adapter here so you can plug the uh, you know the DC plug into it kind of know what that does so we'll set it to the side now for the cool stuff box who cares about the box uh, it does come with some mounting screws uh, one thing you'll notice right away is it's not really a huge light but it's not small uh, but cool thing is the light does have built-in batteries, so it kind of sucks its way on into the uh, uh, the base. So you could, uh, you know, definitely put it on a side panel of a vehicle or hang it on a wall or whatever, and the flashlight will stay there even upside down with some slight bumping. I probably wouldn't mount it on the top of my car. Uh, you hit a big enough bump, this thing's gonna hit you in the head. Uh, cool thing is it is magnetic all the way through. Uh, it will attach the base to something. But when you go to remove the flashlight, it takes the base with it. The magnet's more strong, you know, from the flashlight to the base. Uh, but pretty cool stuff. Got, you know, four small little prongs, which if I had to pick a weakness, that's probably where I would point out. But they are, you know, spring-loaded and, and seem to work pretty well. So, you know, I, I don't, you know, if there was a problem with the base, that would be it. Not saying that there is one. Uh, they have sufficient, sufficient cord to be able to mount it just about anywhere in a vehicle. And, um... Uh, Enough about the base. Now for flashlight. See, it's uh, for some reason I thought I had a ruler in here, but I can't find it. I don't know. It's about what eight or nine inches long or so. Not sure. Uh, uh, got a uh, uh, that uh, previously reviewed uh, thrown in the floor. Uh, four sevens quirk x two uh two three uh squared uh so pocket size light so there's a huge difference you know it's a sizable light uh but it's not really built for like pocket care it's built for uh you know like utility work or uh you know whatever searching for a bad guy in the woods per se but uh it does have two buttons um you know pressure uh button here and one on the rear tail, ca tail cap it also has three led emitters uh which have pretty smooth reflectors, so they give you a nice tight hot, uh, white uh, or hot spot, uh, not decent throw. You'll see that in a bit when I take it outside. But uh, just holding a button, that's 200 lumens. That's its max output right there, uh, 200 lumen high, and that's with you holding the button. As soon as you take your finger off that button, it goes off. Same thing with the rear tail, tail cap on high. As soon as you let go, it goes off. Now, if you just push the button, it comes on. That's its kind of uh, medium setting, that's 70 lumens. And then uh, if you, uh, from off, tap it twice, that's its low setting. Uh, they measure that at 20 lumens. Uh, we'll see how they work it outside here in a moment. Overall impressions, uh, at two and $300 that they were when they first come out, I probably wouldn't buy one. Uh, but if you can find one at a pretty good deal, they're worth having. Um, I would, you know, best case scenario, I'd like to have a couple of them, two, three of them one for bedside and one for each vehicle at least because uh, it is a pretty handy flashlight it's very lightweight even though it's sizable uh, hitting somebody over the head with it's probably going to do more damage to the flashlight than it will 
bad guy's head. But, um, you know, so not really a good striking device despite its size. Uh, but definitely a handy flashlight to have. But uh, bear with me for a couple moments. We'll uh, run outside and get everything set up and, uh, and see what she looks like outside. And just before you see the uh, the outside beam shots, uh, I brought the flashlight straight in from doing those outside beam shots, uh, which you're about to see. It's kind of like time travel. But anyways, uh, brought it straight in, and I wanted to show you how the dock worked uh, for charging. Uh, so basically, we've got a dock set up here with, DC, uh, with the uh, uh, DC inverter, whatever it's called, uh, adapter, and take the flashlight, drop it on there, see it blinking. When it's blinking real fast, that means you, you're, uh, the, bat or the battery's not very dead or the capacitor's not very dead. And it's recharging. And now it's fully charged. Uh, see it stop blinking. And you can take it off and go back to normal use. Uh, you know, whatever. And then when it's done, throw it back on there and see it didn't even use enough there to, to even throw a charge on it. But just wanted you to see that. Now enjoy the outside shots. All right, it finally got dark enough to come out and talk about this awesome flashlight. It's a little different setup than I had before. Uh, for this guy, I'm pointing a different direction on the compound. Um, hopefully be able to show you a little better uh, throw and talk about the light a little better since we got some different objects to look at. But this is the, oh, get the camera to focus. This is the high mode, that 200 lumen output. And maybe if the camera will ever focus. There you go. Starting to come in a little better. Got some of these bushes over here lining on the left side. Uh, right here. Those bushes are kind of coming at an angle across my path. Uh, uh, ranging from about, I don't know, 20 yards down here to about 30 yards there. Uh, we have this big tree over here. Which is about 35 to 40 yards away. Just past that over here to the right just on this side of the tree you can see my mailbox and that's probably right at 50 yards away or so um, and there's a, a road which if you've watched any of my other videos you know it turns into a super highway if I get out here and make videos so that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of throw and spread you get out of it like I said this is the holding the button the 200 lumen high peak output and then from there you go to the 70 lumen the medium kind of output which is great for just you know maneuvering looking around that kind of stuff uh, not really giving as much light you see that tree mailboxes are over there but everything that we could just see right there disappeared so you know not a ton of light you know but uh still useful very useful i mean the bushes bushes over here you can still make out and actually you know in person you can really see what they are and what their shape is from there to the uh to the low which is the 20 lumen i can still with my eyes see those same bushes but i don't think you can see them on camera you can see the light flickering a little bit maybe but right here you can see the railing see this is more like for a walking around kind of th uh, thing not necessarily for navigation like right here, we got it on the grass. Like I said, that's that 20 lumen low mode. Uh, the standard 70 lumen. And then the high 200 lumen. See, it really lights those bushes up. Pretty cool. Uh, the biggest difference between the 200 lumen and the uh, 70 lumen medium mode. Sorry about that big move there. Is, um, you know, you get about the same amount of throw out of it, really, to the naked eye or to the eye instead of what you see on screen. But you just don't get all that fill in on the left and right like that. So you can see the tree there, but now you can see the tree and several bushes. Um, but still a very useful light. If you're looking for the uh, the brightest lighting on the man, this isn't it. But if you're looking for a nice utility light to just throw in your vehicle and have in case of a flat tire or, you know, in case of an emergency or something like that, this would be a great light, especially since it recharges in 90 seconds and you can mount the dock anywhere you want to, like I said earlier. Um, but uh, hopefully got you some good information here uh, if you're looking to buy one of these I don't know if they're worth the, uh, the original $200 they were asking for them but it's definitely worth one if you can find one with the right deal uh, we'll leave it at that um, 
but uh hope you enjoyed the video uh thumbs up likes are appreciated favorite subscribe if this is your first video shame on you go check out the rest of them on my channel page i got quite a few uh and as always comment or message me i'm happy to help any way i can check out my website and uh my facebook page i'll have the uh links pasted in the description below the video uh go check those out uh give me a like a thumbs up on facebook uh that's really appreciated uh hint hint i'm about to do some giveaways and facebook's going to play a major role in who wins what i'm going to give away i won't tell you what it is yet though uh, but it's probably going to be worth it let's say that and uh like i said the website is still in its infant stages it keeps coming along i get to work on it for about 10 minutes each day uh but hopefully get to a point where we have some good information there uh for you know anybody from the beginner to uh to people that are looking to how to better themselves and stuff like that got some forums and stuff like that there too if you're interested in that but uh thanks for watching i uh, hope i didn't babble too long hope i didn't advertise too long um and hope you enjoyed the video thanks guys